Hi, this is Anna from JustPaint.com. I've got a new rainbow cake that I'm going to do a demo with. This is called Northern Lights Cake. It's got purple, all metallics, purple, fuchsia, yellow, and white metallic. And when the fuchsia and the yellow mix, it makes an orange, which is really cool. Um, so it kind of has a cosmic intergalactical sensation. I'm loading my cake. I just dip the edge of my sponge into wet water and you might want to wring it out to make sure there's not any extra water and then you just load it back and forth across the colors now for this design I'm not exactly sure what it is but I was playing with it on my leg it's going to be a kind of crown and you start by just making a little petal stroke you're going to brushing up and over and down then I'm going to flip it over so now the white is facing up to the outside and the purple's in the center. And then I'm just going to make a wedge streak to that side and a wedge streak to this side. I'm just pulling it, keeping the purple in the center and pulling the white out on the sides. So I reverse the colors. I've got purple pointing up and then i got purple on each side pointing down. And this is like an end stroke, and these are just smooth wedges where you keep the purple tight in the center and you pull the white over on the sides. Oh, bad mama. Okay, I'm putting a little purple right there since I accidentally did that on that side. Then we're just going to make like a petal stroke or a wing stroke. I'm going to put the purple back on the outside. I'm going to pull it way up and then bring it down purple on the outside, pull it way up to the outside of the face, up here, and then bring it back down. So I have this funky forehead that has a lot of colors in it, all going in different directions, but it was really quick. Now I'm just going to take some black. You could outline this again with the metallic purple right from your cape, but I'm going to use some Diamond Effects black because I like my designs to be a little bit more bold and crazy um, than soft and delicate. And now I'm making little wing lines which are just lines like this along the edges. And then I'm going to trace the top of the wing and pull those wing lines down again. Let me zoom in so you can get a better view of what's going on. You pull up and then you pull down, come back at the bottom of that one, pull down, come back at the other bottom of this one, pull down. All the lines are facing into the center of the face. Now, since I added that little purple on the side, I'm just going to outline a little pointy. Okay, I made it a little too dark, so I'm going to make it match on that side. And then you outline the top of this. And then on the edges where it's white, you can just make little raggedy dashes in there. And then I'm just going to turn this white center into a diamond. So I've got a cute intricate design um, with just a couple strokes and then some black details. You can bring the black all the way down from the wings if you want to and sometimes if I'm missing a little spot in my design I just get my finger into that paint in the cake and fill it in. I guess since I already did these weird things over here, I'm going to just do them on the other side to match. So that's just a different way to start a headpiece. And, I, and you could finish the design by adding more of this if you wanted to. But it would be a cute crown for a cat. Let's turn it into a cat. I'm going to take the same cake, keeping the white in the center. I want to make the muzzle with the white in the center and the purple on the outside. So I'm just going 
to paint a stroke going starting at the bridge of the nose and coming down to the crack of the mouth. Now you can take the edge of your sponge that has the white on it and rub it into the white on your cake and just fill in the middle. Now your cat's going to have a cosmic mustache. And then up here where there's no paint, you can take your sponge and just whatever colors hit it, you can blend that in to the nose. You just kind of blend in whatever wants to come out. Now I'm going to take the black again. And just paint a little mustache design. Little nose, little nose. Just painting the bottom of the nose, not the whole top like a, a giant scary triangle. And you can come along with the black and then you can start dragging in the whiskers. grooves that the whiskers are going to grow out of. And I think I'm going to just pull some crazy lines up here and here. The purpose of this video isn't to imitate what I'm doing, but just to take your give you an idea that you can take your rainbow cakes and you can just let them go wild around your face and then you can turn it into a design that looks like something if you don't want it to be abstract. So since this is the cosmic kitty because we're using the northern lights cake I'm just going to take that wedge with the purple on the outside again and fill it in. So I have white on the top of my eyelids and purple on the outside of my eyelids. And just dotting the sponge around, putting some shaggy face marks. And then to finish things off, you can give your kitty his little bottom lip. Outline that. And then maybe if you want, you can outline these new eyes that you put on the side. But it's a pretty crazy princess cat face. Wow. Um, we have new coupons up for new blog subscribers. Um, if you subscribe between June 1st and June 28th, there's a 10% coupon that's going to get sent to you um, via email. So you can use it at JustPaint.com and you can get some really cool rainbow cakes. If you haven't tried them yet, oh my gosh, you have to try them because they're going to change your face painting lifestyle and make you a lot faster um, and a cooler artist because you're going to be able to whip out all these colors at once and it's going to surprise everybody that's watching you paint. And you're just going to love them. They're very inspiring to play around with.